Hello again and welcome back. This video has a look at how to create either a simple volume, a span volume, stripe volume, mirrored volume, or a rate 5 volume. Basically, okay, a span volume is like combining multiple discs to give you one slightly bigger kind of volume. Okay, a simple volume is like a normal disk, okay, you just create a disk drive, okay, for example, you select this disk and turn it into like drive D, okay. Um, stripe volume is good for faster reading because it's basically putting the data across, it's like striping it, the first sector is in disk 1, the next sector is in disk 2, that kind of concept, okay. And it basically is able to read multiple disks at the same time. So you're getting faster read access, okay, by having the stripe. Mirrored volume, basically, it's like having a backup copy of it, where you're having um, this is just a 4 gig drive, just a demo over here. Uh, but basically, if you want to copy, have a copy of it, so in case one disk fails, you have a copy. Okay, then you can go to the next disk, and it's kind of like you're using the other disk kind of like as a backup kind of like version of it. RAID 5, you basically need minimum of three disks to go in the group. Okay, for the others, you need a minimum of one for a simple, and the others were two, and for RAID 5, it's three. Okay, so we're actually going to show you how to create a RAID 5. They're all fairly similar. Okay, the principle is fairly similar. Okay. Whether you, if you choose a mirrored volume, okay, basically if you're having one volume mirrored, you'd need basically two discs for that, okay, so the second one is the mirrored. Okay, for here we're doing the more complicated one, which is RAID 5, and also the more resilient in terms of um, fault tolerance, for example, if one of these discs failed, okay, you'd still be happily running everything like normal. Okay, so we've got our new RAID volume, okay, we're having to add other discs in there okay and basically you can change the amount of size for each disk using that okay maximum available space okay is that total volume size in megabytes is 7932 it's a little bit less than the total size but that's because of um, shall we say backup techniques okay and then give it a drive letter, okay, or you could mount it in a empty NTFS folder, okay, or don't give a drive letter at this point. Whoops. Okay, format it, okay, choices NTFS or the resilient file system, allocation size you can choose depending on the way your file server is set up, okay, give it a new name, okay. RAID 5, okay. Quick format, it makes it a lot quicker, okay. Um, you could do a full format, okay. File and folder compression if you want to use that, okay. All right, and then what will happen, it gives you basically this little warning over here saying that if any of these things were used as a boot volume, it ain't going to happen. Okay, all right. And then basically it'll go through it, okay, it'll format it, it'll sync it, it'll take some time. Just very quickly, one thing I actually did forget, how do we actually get here? Okay, very simple, open up, server manager, okay, and then basically tools at the top, and computer management, okay, and then disk management. Okay, which is exactly what we had over here. Okay, that does take time for it to sync up. Once it's finished, it'll be ready, and then you could go over here once it's ready and start using it straight away. Okay, um, hopefully this has helped. Um, thanks for watching.